Where does it say that Jesus is God? There is only one God. There is only one God. Okay? Jesus said, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Jesus said, I came from heaven. Did Muhammad come from heaven? No. Jesus came from heaven. He walked the earth. He died on the cross. On the third day, he rose from the dead because death could not hold him. He rose again from the dead and he appeared to many witnesses for approximately 40 days. And then he ascended back to heaven. He said, I go back to my father and your father. My God and your God. My God, my God. Jesus ascended back to heaven. He came from heaven and he ascended. Now Jesus said, before he went to the cross, he said to he said, Father, Restore, listen. listen. Jesus said, Jesus said, Father, restore to me the glory that I had with you before the world was. All things are created through Jesus. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the ending. That's why the book of Revelation says, I have the keys of death and hell. Jesus. Jesus. God. Jesus is God. He's the Son of God. Jesus. Jesus is the Almighty God. He is Alpha and Omega. There is only one God. Very easy. God can, God can be in heaven, yes? Let me ask you, can God be in heaven and walk the earth in the form of a... No, no, I'm asking you, maybe I'm... Can God be in heaven and at the same time, simulta... can, I'll, 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 let me simplify it. Can God be in two places at once? No, can God be in... Yes, God can be in two places at once. God can be in two places at once. So, okay, let, let me come on to that question. Can God be in heaven and walk the earth in the form of a human being at the same time. Can he do that? Can he do that? No, 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 no. I'm not asking you for your assessment of God. I'm asking, is it possible for him to do that? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. That's what you say, but that's not what the Bible says. God is in heaven. And at the same time, God walked, God walked on the earth in the form of a human being at the same time it's possible for God to be in 10 places at the same time it's possible for God to be in a hundred places at the same time why because God is not limited by time and space because he created time and he created space so he's not limited by what he's created he is over everything that he's created. He, he becomes something that he created so that we could identify it with him. But the difference between Jesus and you and me is the blood that's in his, you're not listening. The blood that's in his veins. His blood is special blood. Your blood comes from your father and your mother. You are created from your father and your mother. I'm created from my father and my mother, but Jesus, only came through the mother, but no physical father. Yes. Yes. So the, the, the body of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is different from your blood and from my blood. His blood is pure. God is holy. God is pure. And that's why God accepted the blood of Jesus. Before Jesus came, Moses and the prophets had to sacrifice animals as a, as a covering for sin. This was a temporary covering and God accepted that as a temporary, it was a temporary covering until the real thing came. And then when Jesus came in the flesh, that's why John the Baptist, listen, John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, not just the sin of Great Britain, but the sin of Britain, the sin of Saudi Arabia, the sin of America, the sin of France, every nation, every tongue, every tribe, he died because God loves every tongue, every tribe, every nation. 
And Jesus paid the price for every nation. He paid the price. This is the reason why you die. The reason why I'm going to die is because of the curse and sin, the curse of sin. Sin separates us from God. But Jesus came to reconcile us back to God. Then why will God create hell and heaven of all our sins? Great question. Why would God create heaven and hell? First of all, heaven is where God is. God created hell, not for you and for me, but God created hell for the devil and his angels. That's why, listen, that's why hell is created. And God does not want you to go to hell where the devil is, where the devil is going to be cast into hell. Hell and death will be cast into the lake of fire. The last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation tells us that death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire. Where, does it the, say that? where is hell? No, where does it say that? In Revelation. In Revelation. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you where it says in the book Revelation that death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire. God doesn't want you to go to hell. God does not want you to go to hell. 66 books. 40 writers, 40 authors. Let's, 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 from the, inspired by the Spirit of God. The last, the last, the last, the last book of the Bible is the book of Revelation. That's what we're talking about. Death, death in hell, death in hell, death in hell is cast into the lake of fire. God does not want you to go to hell. He does not want you to go to hell. Why? Because God is love. God loves you. Allah doesn't love you. Allah does not love you. No, he doesn't. Show me in the Quran where it says Allah loves me. Show me that it says Allah loves me. Show me in the Quran where it says Allah loves Christians. Exactly. Exactly. At least he told the truth. Allah does not love me. No. Allah does not love me. The Quran says that Jews and Christians are the worst of creatures. No, because you, you think because you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong. You need to understand that you have six, six books or what? I'm talking about the love of God. I'm talking about God. But, I, but, but my God, I can say to you, my God loves you. That's not okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you will go. Then receive Jesus. My God loves you. My God loves you. And my God loves you. My God loves you. That's what. No, we're not good. No, we're not good. There we go. He said, I'll go to hell because I reject the Prophet Muhammad. I'll go to hell. That's what you say. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. God does not want you to go to hell. God loves you. So, but he does not want you to go to hell. You asked me before, why did God create hell? And I said, for the devil and his angels. In Revelation, it says it in Revelation. There you go, chapter 20, 2010. The devil is cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, along with the beast, that's the Antichrist, and the false prophet. They will be tormented for eternity. Thank you. They will be tormented for eternity. God doesn't want you to go there. God wants you to, he wants you to go to heaven. He wants you to go to heaven. That's why Jesus came and died on the cross. That's why he came and he died on the cross. Thank you so much. No, right. God, God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. He doesn't want you to go to hell. If you're genuine in your heart, no, no, wait, no, wait. When you go home tonight, just you and God, just say, God, show me the truth about Jesus. No, just say, just say, God, show me the truth. Guide me in truth. What's the truth? No, it's not the truth. It's not the truth. It is not the truth. It's not the truth. That's why you need to be sincere in your heart. The Bible says there will come another prophet called Ahmed, which is another No, it doesn't say that. It does not say that. The book of Revelation tells us anybody who adds to this book, I will add to him the plagues that are in this book. Anyone who takes away from this book, I will take his name out of the book of life. That's what the book of Revelation says. There is no other prophet coming after Jesus, after the book of Revelation. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. Mark 1-7, where Jesus is the prophet Muhammad, there comes after no. me here, that is my turn and I. See? No, see what? Jesus said to her, okay. Woman, okay. Me. Mark 1-7, read, read Mark 1-7 to me. Get Mark 1-7 out. 
Don't read somebody else's words about it. Get Mark 1, 7 out. Mark chapter 1, verse 7. He says that it's speaking about Muhammad. Let's read it. Okay. Mark, oh no, hold on. After me comes he who is mightier than I. Wonderful. The strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and unite. Wonderful. Yes, okay. wonderful. So what's, what's that verse? What's that verse? What's the verse? Mark 1 7. Mark 1 7. Yeah. Okay. So, Mark 1 7. Mark 1 7. So, first of all, that's not Jesus speaking. No, it's no, it, no, 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 no. I'll tell you who's speaking. That's John the Baptist speaking. What is he saying? And he's talking about Jesus. Okay. He's talking about Jesus coming, and he says, so one is coming who's greater than I. John, Mark 1 7. I'm telling you who he's talking about. No, I'm not changing. You're changing it. I can read it to you. I can read I can read it in the context. I can read it in the context. I can read it in the context. Someone greater than Someone I. Greater than Someone, I. Greater than Someone greater than I. Someone greater than I. So a prophet greater than I. Greater than I. Yeah, John the Baptist prophet speaking. Greater than I is John the I. Baptist speaking. Yeah. John the Baptist is speaking. Was John the Baptist a prophet? He was a prophet. John the Baptist was a prophet. But it says... John the Baptist, the mother of John the Baptist is the cousin of Mary. The mother of John the Baptist is Elizabeth. She is the cousin of Mary. So I'm going to read, Mark, I'm going to read. No, don't be distracted. We're staying on point. Let's stay. Mark chapter 1. He wanted to be distracted. This is John the Baptist speaking. Mark chapter 1. So, verse 7, did you say? Okay. As it is written, behold, I send my messenger. That's a prophet. That's a prophecy in the Old Testament. Did you, uh, Mark one seven. Open John you said Ma Which one? No, no. Mark one seven. Mark one seven. That's Mark, chapter one. Okay. Okay. I'm giving you the context. Written, behold, I send my messenger. Okay. I send my messenger. Let's let's focus. Prepare the way. John the Baptist was a prophet preparing the way for the Messiah. He says, prepare the way of the Lord. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of disciples came by night. Came by night. The baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all of the land of Judea, and Jerusalem, focus, I'm, focus. All baptized of him, that's John, in the river of Jordan confessing their sins and John with a girdle camel's hair with a girdle of skin about his loins he did eat locusts and wild honey here it is verse 7 and preached John is preaching saying John is preaching John is preaching saying there come one mightier than after me mightier than I after me the, wait, wait. The latchet of whose shoes, the sandals, I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. So John is speaking about Jesus. Let's see. Let's see who's speaking about. Indeed, I have baptized you. Okay. Verse 8. With water. But he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it came to pass in those days. Who's coming? No, no. Jesus. Jesus, is it? No, 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 let's read it. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. You said John 1 7. So John was speaking. Who came afterwards? Say it again. Jesus came afterwards. No, 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 no. Let's finish. Jesus came from Nazareth and Galilee and was baptized of John in the Jordan. There you go. So John was speaking about Jesus. Go, go for it. Go. Tell me, you said that that was Jesus speaking about Muhammad. And I've showed you that's John the Baptist speaking about Jesus. And you said it yourself, it's Jesus. John 15, what? 26. You read it for me. You have a phone. 
شو قلنا انه مكتوب في الموبايل في الجيل انه في رسول جاي بعد عيسى قلنا في يعني فيرجن ثاني ما ادري شو يقلب عليه جون ذا بابتست واز سبيكينج اباوت جيسس هي واز نوت سبيكينج اباوت محمد He was not speaking about somebody coming along 700 years later. So we've just seen that John the Baptist was speaking about Jesus, and then Jesus does it, came. Does it say that Jesus will be the last prophet? Can you Jesus, say that Jesus will be the last Jesus, prophet? Jesus, it says there, in the book of Revelation, I told you, you weren't listening. He said, I, he said, I, no it isn't. I am the Alpha and the Omega. He speaks about Muhammad. No, he's speaking about Jesus. That's a prophecy in the Old Testament speaking about Jesus. A prophet from among your brethren. Was, was Muhammad a Jew? No, he wasn't. But there Moses is writing there, Moses, Moses, Moses was a Jew and Jesus was a Jew. Of your brethren. So it's speaking about Jesus. That verse there in Deuteronomy is speaking about Jesus. It's just speaking about Jesus. Who's the last prophet? Who is the last prophet? Yes. There are prophets around today. Not what do you mean last, by prophets? The last prophet. There are prophets alive today. There is? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. There are, there are prophets around. The prophets, they have this, their gift of prophecy. A gift from the Holy Spirit. So Gabriel came down to them? You don't need it. You don't need angels. You don't need angels coming down to them. You don't need angels. You have the Holy Spirit. You have the Spirit of God. So you're telling me there is another person that is born as a virgin? A no, virgin I'm not mother? telling you that. Huh? Only Jesus was born of a virgin. You don't need to be born of a virgin to be a prophet. Moses was not born of a virgin. Elijah was not born of a How virgin. How many difference between Moses and Jesus? Between Moses and Jesus, probably about, let me see now, 1,600 years. Okay, 1,600 years. Yeah. 1,600 years. Correct. Okay. What's the difference between Muhammad and Jesus? 600 years or so. Yeah, and so what? So there, there can be another uh, prophet after no. Jesus. The reason why, I read to you from the last book of, this is the end of the Bible. All the prophets. How many versions of the Listen, are listen. How many no, I'm answering your other question. How many I'm answering your question. All the prophets today point to the real God and it's in accordance with the Bible. So, it says here, that whoever, let's just see here, it tells you about who's going to heaven. I saw there, the devil deceived people and cast them into the lake of fire, the great white throne. This is the, you need your name in the Lamb's book of life. You need your name in there, okay? That's what you need, all right? Another this, question. No, no, did Adam, no. Did Adam wait, believe in Jesus? Wait, wait. If I read the Bible, does it mean I'm a Christian? I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. He's the beginning and he's the end. Okay. That's Jesus. He's the beginning and the end. How is he the beginning? Again? He's the beginning and the end. All okay. things are created. Okay. Did Adam all created. Did all, cre Adam all created by him. Adam in of course he did. How did he? Of course he did. Of course he did. How of course did? he did. How did he? Because, he he because Adam believed in God. No, did he see Jesus? Did he see Jesus yes. or did he see God? Did he see Jesus? Did he see Jesus? Yes. I don't know if he saw Jesus, but how is he God then? How is have you seen Allah? No. Okay, so how is he God then? No, you're saying people saw Jesus when he came in the flesh. Okay. When in the came when he came in the flesh. Adam knew everything. Does it Adam that? didn't know everything at all. He did know everything. He did not know everything. God teach them everything. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. If Alan, if Adam knew everything, he wouldn't have sinned. When did he? Oh, okay. Ah, yes. there we go. There we go. All right. Okay. He, God teach them everything. And then the devil came and she was, was uh, This is the reason why there's no other prophets. This is two verses that tell you that Muhammad is a false prophet. Here it is here. I testify unto you. The man heareth the words, the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto the things of God, and he add on these things, God shall add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away the words of this book of prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city. That's why Muhammad is a false prophet. That's why you need to come to the real God. 
The real God is love and he loves you. And the real God, the real God, the real way, the only way to the real God is through Jesus. Sorry? Will he forgive me? He will forgive you if you genuinely repent. If you ask him, Jesus, please forgive me of my sin. That's why he came. He came to take away our sin. He will forgive you. That's why he came. So you're saying Jesus died for me? Yes, he died for you. He died for everyone. He died for you. He died for me. And if you if you believe in Jesus, again, like I said earlier, if you go home tonight, one second. If you go one sec. If you go home tonight, and you say to God, God, show me the truth. There are many religions in the world, and they all say different things. Just say, God, if you're sincere in your heart, you say, God, show me the truth about you. Show me the truth. Who is Jesus? Is he the Son of God? Did he die on the cross? If you're genuine in your heart, God will guide you. He may not guide you straight away tonight, but if you're genuine, say, God, I want to know you. I want to know the real God. God will guide you. The reason being is that God said, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. That's what God says. Can God read? Can God what? Read. Read. God, of course God can read. So Jesus can read. Jesus can read. Go on, hey, uh, is it a trick question? Are we, are we uh, you're, trying, you're trying to trick me. Jesus can you know, read. We're, we're used to these tricks every week. Jesus can read. You take, you take verses out of context. Just a minute, Jesus can read. <laughs> you take verses out of context. Just, Jesus can read. Of course Jesus can read. And when they give the book to the to one who cannot read, saying read this, he says, "I cannot read." Maybe, okay. Let, now let's get the context. Get the whole. Get the, yeah, get, 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 type that in. Let's let's read the verses leading up to it. Isaiah. Jesus will come back. He will come back. He's but he's coming Antichrist. back for those who are looking for him. No, the no. The, I tell you who the Antichrist is. The, the, Iman, the, Iman, Mah, the Iman Mahdi is the Antichrist. No, 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 yes, no. He is. No, the, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah, well, doesn't matter. You know, the, the, yeah, you have to Jesus be careful. Jesus will come back. He will come Jesus back. Jesus is in heaven. Yeah, yes, he correct. Will come back he will come back. And then he will fight the Antichrist. He's not, he doesn't need to fight. Yeah. He, will fight the he, will defeat, he will defeat the yes, Antichrist by the words of his mouth. Them. But just by his words. Just by his words. Okay, so what are we saying? What are we reading here? We're reading Isaiah 29. Yeah, so I've been so Isaiah 29. So let's not take things out of context. Let's let's have a look at it. Hold on, Isaiah 29. What was your question? Was Jesus what? Does Jesus know I'm alive? Of course. He knows you're alive. He's created you. He's the one who sustains you. And he loves you. Okay, so if I murdered you, will Jesus love me? <laughs> huh? He will love you. How will he love me? But you still have the consequence of your actions. Okay. So if I murder someone and run away and no one ever caught me, but, but yeah, but, am, am but no, but, but God knows. God sees everything. Am I going? You can't to run away from God. Am I going to help? You will suffer the consequences of those actions. When? <laughs> it may be in this life and the next life. Let's okay. look. Let's look. Hold on. Isaiah 29, verse 11. Let's read verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out. The Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes and prophets. So this is a... And so you're taking a verse out of context. Why is this talking about Jesus? Of course Jesus can read. I'll show you how Jesus can read. See, see? No, no. Okay. Then why does it say here Jesus I, I, cannot no, read? No, it doesn't say Jesus can read. It, you, it ah, tell me. doesn't say that at all. Jesus, God can read, yeah? Let's see. God Jesus, can read. Jesus can read. God can read. Jesus can read. Jesus can read. Why does it say here Jesus cannot read? It doesn't read? say Jesus. It says Jesus cannot read. It doesn't mention Jesus. Where? Where is Isaiah 29, Where? verse 11, doesn't mention Jesus. Where is it? Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, doesn't mention Jesus. Jesus says, 
don't eat pork, but why do Christians eat pork? Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself. Okay, do you love your neighbor? neighbor? Do you love your neighbor? Yes, I love my neighbor. Do you love Jewish people? Yes, I love Jewish people. Okay, good. Good to hear. Do you love Christians? Yes, yes I, love I love Christians. Christians. <laughs> the Christians I have fought. three Christian friends. Oh, really? The, okay, good. The Christians was our, the friends of the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, okay. And then if the, our religion is big, then why are, is, is it the fa fastest growing religion? That doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything at all. Okay, let's see. Let's see if Jesus can read. We're reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter four. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just hold on. Okay, Luke chapter four. Verse 16, and he came to, he came to Nazareth, where, he brought, where he'd been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he'd opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So Jesus he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and to okay. the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And then he said, and the eyes of, and the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Does so Jesus say, opened the book and he read from the book. Does it say, that tells you that Jesus can read. In your Bible, God knows everything. Let's not change the subject. You said, first of all, you said Jesus can't read. Yes. We've blown that out of the water but now. Jesus can read. Okay, okay good. And okay. your Bible, does it say God knows everything? Let's not forget now. Let's go back to the beginning of the conversation. At the very beginning of the conversation, I asked you who wrote the Quran and you said, God. No. When you didn't ask me. Sorry, sorry. It was one of your companions. One of your companions said Muhammad, and then he had to go and melt away. He was wrong. Of course, Muhammad he was wrong. Didn't of course, we know that. We know that. We know Muhammad couldn't read or write, but Jesus can read. Okay. Anything else? Oh no, one. Other. Any questions? Any other questions? I one second. One last thing. It says in your Bible. Yes. God knows everything, right? No. God, of course, he knows. Everything. He is omniscient. That means he knows everything. Yes, everything. Yeah. Jesus is God. Jesus is the Son of God, okay? And he is God. Wait, when, wait, when he came in the flesh, when he was here in the flesh, it's debatable whether he knew everything when he was in the flesh. He came as a baby. Did he know everything as a baby? Or did he grow? The Bible tells us that Jesus, let, let me, let me, let me. He grew in wisdom, all right? So he grew. When he was 12 years of age, he was in the synagogue. And all the Why people. Was he in the synagogue? Wait, the wait. He was, at 12 years of age, he was in the synagogue. But that's a Jewish let, 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 let me just say, he was in the synagogue. Okay. And all the people, the people, the people, they were amazed at his wisdom. The religious leaders were amazed at his wisdom at 12 years of age. Okay. But he was still growing. Okay. So it's debatable whether Jesus knew everything. But like I said, before he died on the cross, he prayed, John 17:5. Father, restore to me the glory that I had with you okay, before me. the you world me was. Now, let me, let me. You, you asked me a question, I'm answering your question. I didn't finish everything. You did. So, so Jesus is God, and God knows everything. God knows everything. Okay. Jesus, we know he was born of a virgin we know that. Uh, mother. Yeah. And he walked on water and this stuff, and he did many, uh, okay. like this stuff. Yes. Okay. There is somewhere in the Bible, I don't remember where, okay. he was looking for an apple and he couldn't find the apple. So Jesus, he knows everything, how yes. couldn't he find the apple? Oh, okay. Uh, You're saying that it's actually, a, a, Jesus came to a, a tree okay. and he was looking for a fig. What's a fig? <laughs> fig is a different type of fruit than an apple. He was looking for a fig, but there was no fruit on the tree. And so Jesus cursed the tree. 
Why did he curse the tree? Good, good question. Good black. question. He cursed the tree. He cursed the tree. What's the creation of black? He, he cursed the tree. That's his. That's his choice. That's yeah. That's his prerogative. But that's the creation. Yeah, and so, yeah. Just like why do why do people die? God gives life, and God takes away life. Yes. He that's Everyone yeah, gets he can do he can he can do what he likes. So if Jesus wants to curse a tree, he can so he, he can curse a tree. Comes to curse you. He's not going to curse me. Who's He's going to come to bless me. But he cursed the tree. <laughs> he cursed the tree. He cursed the tree. So any final questions? No. What I re okay. I reckon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I recommend that you go and read the Injil for yourself. The Quran. Like wait, the wait, 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 wait. The Quran affirms the Injil. The Quran affirms the Injil. No, no, no. In the Quran, it affirms the Injil. What do you mean? So you're saying that Injil, it means it recommends the Injil. The Quran recommends the Injil. The Quran recommends the Injil. The Quran affirms the Injil. So I would, rec I would say, so you have, you have four Injil, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Go and read the Injil for yourself. Read it for yourself. The Quran affirms it, so read it for yourself. Are you having a question now? Go on. What is proof? What proof? What proof would you need? What proof would satisfy you? No, but what kind of proof would satisfy you? But what kind? Yeah, but what? He has a message. He has a message. The proof that Jesus resurrected from the dead is that there were eyewitnesses. Eyewitnesses that he rose from the dead. Now, many of these witnesses gave their life. Because they saw the risen Jesus, they were willing to lay down their life. And they died because they saw the risen Jesus from the dead. That's why. Many evidence. If you go onto YouTube, say, type in evidence. That's your question. Evidence for the resurrection. Nice speaking with you. God bless you. God bless you. Nice speaking with you. Can I add to what in John chapter 1 verse 1, say in the beginning was the word, the word is the word of God, and the word was with God, and the word was made flesh, and it was God. That same word is the word of God, and it was made flesh, and it was among them. You know why he came? Because the Bible says, during the olden time, they kept, every year they kill man. To, to appease God for the sins of the people. So every year, the priest, the priest is the only one that goes into the holy of holies, and he will tie a bell. So when he goes, in, if they don't hear the shaking of the bell, they will know, oh, he's dead. Once a year. Okay? Once a year. Yeah, once a year. Yeah. And they will use the, the rope. The rope is to pull him out. There's no one goes inside them. So this is what they do every year. And God saw that that cannot save man. So he now said, that's lamb. That's why it's called the lamb of God. He now said he needs to send his own son. Yeah. His own begotten son. And that son is the word of God. That's why he said in the beginning. Because well, in Genesis he said, let us make man. Let us. The earth is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are the earth. He said, let us make man in our own image and like them. Yeah? And then when he came to John, John 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the word. This Jesus Christ, he was the word. And the word was with God. God was the same. Calling God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God. And the How God. Jesus is the Son of God. I have a question. No, no. So read the angel for yourself. How is he the Son of God? I recommend. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Start with John. Start with, start with John, the fourth gospel. Read it for yourself. Either in English or in Arabic. Read it for yourself. Don't let me read it. Don't let me read it for you. Don't let anyone read it for you. Read it for yourself. And open your heart and say, God, show me the truth. What is the truth? Show me the truth. If you're sincere, seeking God with all your heart, God says, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me.